Hey everyone, my name is Braden. In this video, we're going to go over how to calculate the mean, median, and mode, or the measures of central tendency. First, we'll start off by importing pandas as pd, and also numpy as np. And then what I'm doing down here is creating a data frame with 10,000 rows and five columns. And here are the names of the columns. So we'll run that. If you're interested in optimizing your code for speed, stick around to the end of this video where I show you an easy way to get some speed performances when calculating the mean, median, and mode. If we're looking for the mean, what we can do is df mean, and it will return the mean for each column with a numeric type. So if you had a column that was an object or contained strings, it would just ignore those columns. Also to note, any row with missing data will just be ignored as if that row didn't exist. If we wanted to calculate the median, df median, and it will return the median value for each of those columns. And to find the mode, what we'll do is df, and we're going to round each value to two decimal places, and then mode. So here we see the mode is returned, and there are actually two modes for column three. If we only want the mean, median, or mode for a single column, we can do that by specifying the column. So we can say df call one dot mean, and it will return the mean for only that column rather than the entire data frame. The same is true for median and mode. Because we didn't round the column, we get a whole bunch of modes returned. So what we can do is just round that again. If you have a need for speed, we can easily improve our performance. Let me just copy this bit of code up here and paste it. We're going to use time it. And then what we'll do is the same thing down here, except for in between df call one, we'll add dot values dot mean. So what this does is converts our pandas series into a numpy array where it ignores all of this overhead that comes with a pandas series. So it'll ignore things like the row number and just give us the values. So if we run this, we can see that we get about seven times faster. Finding the median is a little different. This time what we'll have to do is use np.median and then pass in our column dot values. And we'll run that. And this way we get about two times faster performance. For the mode, there wasn't a way that I found that could significantly increase the performance. For the most part, these few microseconds that we might save optimizing our code probably doesn't matter, but if you have a really large data set, and if you're like me and like to know that your code is running as fast as you could get it, this is a way you can do it. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, thanks for watching.